Wade back into the commentary box. He's alongside Clive Everton. Keshawak Punjang acknowledging his fans. Very popular visitor from Thailand. His opponent, Fraser Patrick from Scotland. Fraser, your choice. A bit of humour is always welcome. Fraser Patrick has won the lag, Deshawat Poonjang to break. And Poonjang gets carried away, doesn't he? We saw it last year, he's a complete... Well, he was like frothing at the end of it. It was quite something, but he lost to Lightning Rod Lawler, I think, at the time. Pity, because he's a very good player, but he just gets a little bit worked up when the crowd get on his side. Extraordinary character. But apparently there are no characters in snooker anymore, some people tell us. He's actually been having a quite a poor season, because he played at the Crucible a few years ago, beat Steve <laughs> Maguire, but none of that's happening at the moment for him, is it? No. He's gone down from uh, 45 start of season down to 60. <laughs> Solid long red from Fraser Patrick. One. Yeah, nice player, Fraser Patrick. Left-hander getting somewhere. Scottish. Friends with all the players, apart from his own snooping ability, but puts a mean tip on a cue. Uh, I think they all like him for that reason, but his career is uh, at a fairly early stage. Can he get to the red? Apparently not. Fraser Patrick, five. Bit thick on that safety. Poom Jang's chief claim to fame is that he's the only player on the circuit to lose a frame three times because of missing three times from an unsnookered position. Well, he's turning it all Tell into me, a yeah. bit of a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm just actually hearing that something I didn't know about that he's actually not been all too well in the last well, he's had kidney problems been in that hospital so maybe that would explain why he's not been getting the results but uh, maybe tonight will be different okay well he's still in high spirits anyway so that indicates that he's recovered or is recovering <laughs> Trouble. Everyone found that amusing, but Fraser Patrick, I would say. Yeah, he gets completely hyper out there, doesn't he? I mean, it's, it's great fun. It makes me wonder what would happen if he was to go and win it, what the final would be like. Anyway, he's not even won this match yet, and his contact was clearly made there. Fraser Patrick hey, 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 hey. just reached. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> that was bad news. Prince Patrick fourth. Poom Jam Express Express could be derailed at the at a very early stage after that shot. One. Well, maybe it's Patrick's turn to enjoy himself. Uh Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh. I get out of here. Eight. Nine.
14. Very different, aren't they, these two in their personality? 15. Nice lad, Fraser, but just wants to play snooker out there. I can understand that. Not interested in it all, is he? All the histrionics. Just wants to knock balls in. 22. Well, he's doing okay at the moment. 30 in front. 10 second shot clock now in operation. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, you've got to avoid a playing a foul at this form of the game. That is, you're halfway to being knocked out if you play one of those. At this level, ball in hand is a, a huge advantage. 26. And of course, Boomjang, as we saw, the cue ball trickled into the top left pocket. 27. Red above for the black and to the left of it must go. Ooh. Yeah, it's tight, but it does 32. go. 32. Oh, 33. Very good. It's <laughs> worth giving a running commentary, is Poon Jack. I don't, I don't think he's going to put us out of work now. <laughs> he can barely look now. Well, he's managed to pull his jet another shot. There's a Patrick. <laughs> Just pushed, pushed the Patrick out of the way. One. <laughs> I don't know whether I don't know whether Tim Jones does a lot for the argument about making this a ranking tournament. Six. <laughs> Just a thought, Clive. Seven. I wonder what Steve Davis would have made of this if Pip Jones was playing him in something important. There's enough time here, you know. I mean, he, Fourteen. If he keeps his composure, he can get himself back into this. We know that he can certainly 15. play. He, loves, he absolutely loves it out there. It should be some kind of an entertainer, shouldn't he, outside of snooker, I think. He's certainly got it. 20. Oh, dear, that's no good. He's, 21. He really is not, not given that enough. He's got the legs. Ah, unlucky. He's got the pocket, though, at least there's something. All is not lost yet. He's still in there with a, some sort of a hope. Coming down to earth. Oh. Patrick still leads by 27. Well, this could be attentional pockets, I think. Tell you that is uh, he'll settle for that good outcome. He's probably got about a minute, minute and ten from his next shot. If he can keep his eye on the game. If he was a horse, I think they'd put blinkers on him. Keep his mind on the job, you know. I think you've got to wait till the ball stop rolling, that's the first thing to say. Oh. He needs to pop one here. I don't know where, anywhere. Oh. Uh, the whole thing was a blur. Can't say I can like, pick up what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Ball's going in all directions, none towards the pocket. Oh. 
sure we've got enough time, I think. Fraser Patrick, seven. Well, Jesse Ralph Punjan entertained us really. What a character he is. But it was Fraser Patrick who did the business and advanced to the...